are starting new lives in Tulsa and facing a mountain of challenges. Learning a new language, finding a job, the list goes on and on. News Channel's Bert Molo introduces us to a family of seven who just arrived in Tulsa a week ago. It's a story you'll see only on 8. Neely, he helped the U.S. military and had to leave his country because of it. Now he's trying to help his family start over. With a spread of traditional Afghan cuisine, a room of nearly 40 refugees newly arrived are beginning to call Tulsa home. My name is Ahmad Ashad Yusufzai. Ahmad is one of just a few who speak English and served as our translator for the Shinwari family. <laughs> Nakui Bulla was in the Afghan military and helped the U.S., which immediately put his family in jeopardy once the country fell to the Taliban. The Taliban um, uh, says if anyone working with foreign people, they say for him, you are uh, kafir, you are not Muslim. In this case, they will fire in, uh, on his uh, house and they will uh, shoot for them. In this case, uh, he and uh, his family was uh, right now in here because uh, all of them was in danger. He and his wife have seven children, and he's hoping to get a job as soon as possible. Because uh, they want to work for his uh, sons and for his family. If your mind is reeling with all the challenges they face... There's so much to do. There's so much to do. You are not alone. Imam Mohammed Herbert putting out the call for English teachers. These people are coming, you know, with no language, right? So if you're an ESL qualified teacher, if, if you are qualified to teach English as a second language, please, please volunteer. Or even if you can't volunteer, just be willing to work. We'll pay you, you know? And over near Woodland Hills Mall. This just opened? We just opened. This is going to be our, actually, we have been only open two days. It's here where refugees will be able to come and get free clothing and other necessities. We're expecting uh, families every day. So the challenge is big, but I felt like uh, the community of Tulsa is just coping really good. Back at the mosque. The situation was very bad in our country. These 40 new Tulsans are just the tip of the iceberg with over 700 more families on the gradual road to a new life. In this case, he said, just to find any job, it's good for him. If you'd like to help out with clothing or in any other way, visit this story for a link. Reporting live.